Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Titanfall video for Xbox One. So, I just wanted to put together this video today to give you some tips on how to take down Titans. Now obviously these tips will vary from player to player, but there are a few things that will make, remain the same and some things you should definitely bear in mind. So, uh, I'm going to break this into kind of two different sections, one of which is when you're not in your Titan and the other of which is when you are in your Titan. So, to start with, if you're, as, if you're playing as a pilot and you're on foot, obviously everyone's going to have their own favourite loadout. But, um, the first thing I want to touch on is the use of satchel charges. Now before this, I always used to use arc grenades, because I like the fact that they can throw them down, it can mess up the vision for titans, and it often gives you a chance to escape. What you think, what you need to know about satchel charges is they are really, really useful if you jump on and you rodeo a titan. Typically, when you rodeo a titan, you use your gun and you shoot them, but for those of you who didn't know, you can also plant your satchel charges. So, as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm jumping on the back of the titan, I'm throwing my satchel charges in, I'm jumping off, and I'm using the detonator to explode and you can see it does do a huge chunk of damage to the brain and obviously in turn the titan. Now the other really cool thing about this, and you'll see in one of these clips right here, is that sometimes people are getting wise to people rodeoing and they'll either drop electric smoke, as a lot of the people in this lobby were doing. Alternatively what they'll do is the second they see that rodeo symbol they'll get out and they'll try and shoot you. Now the great thing about satchel charges is they have a massive explosive radius. So if you plant two satchel charges on the brain, you jump off, they climb out, when you hit that detonate button, not only will you kill them because they've climbed up their titan and the explosive radius kills them, it will also do a massive chunk of damage to their titan and the titan is now in autopilot mode. You can then jump back on and again for those of you who didn't know, if you jump on and rodeo an auto titan, it shuts down. So it just sits down on the floor and it's just an easy target. So um, yeah, that is a really really good thing to do, so satchel charges while rodeoing. Next up, on the topic of rodeoing. Obviously you can use whatever gun you want, you know, you can use your anti-titan weapon, not recommended, normally kills you. Uh, you can use, you know, your main weapon or you can use your sidearm. Obviously if you've got kind of a selection of different weapons and you go to reload, always switch to your sidearm first. But the main thing I want to talk about is the LMG. The LMG is definitely the best gun to use if you're going to rodeo a titan. Why? Well because it has the biggest magazine. If you can see in these clips here, what I'm actually doing is I'm shooting and I'm sort of, you know, completely bl um, obliterating the first life bar and I'm shooting through the doomed life bar all without having to reload. So yeah, the damage might not be that much greater, but the fact that I don't have to reload means I can just get so many more shots in and in turn take the Titan down a lot sooner. So if you're looking for a weapon to rodeo and take down Titans, then the LMG is the one. Now the other thing you want to do is when you look at the Titans, when they're damaged, you'll see that they have these kind of sections of them that pop up in red. I appreciate sometimes you may be at the front and you might not have a chance, but where possible, if you see those red sections pop up, then aim down, you know, if anything, hold left trigger, zoom in and just sort of try and pinpoint them because they are the weakest points and obviously you'll do a lot more damage. Again, if you're a pilot and you can jump on the back and throw some C4 on it, then you, know, you can do that too. Now the other tip I want to give is when you're in your Titan. Now again, um, people will obviously have their own favourite loadouts and this you know, also depends on whatever Titan you're using. I always play it as a Strider, but you can do this with any of them. But the main thing is, I always use electric smoke. I know some of you might like Vortex Shield to protect you, or you might like the other shield wall to kind of hide behind, but the reason I use Electric Smoke is if the enemy Titan gets caught in it, their shield goes down incredibly fast. Now as you can see in front of you, you'll see that I dash forward, this, my, this is typically what I do on like, I'll dash towards the enemy, I'll drop the smoke and I'll dash backwards and I immediately start firing through the cloud. Now obviously if you look at the hit markers on screen, you'll know that you're hitting them through the cloud, so that way it's kind of, kind of reassurance that you're not just shooting at anything. And then if you see, if you combine your gun bullets with them being electric smoke, you'll see how fast their life bar goes down, and it is a ridiculously fast way to take down their shield and their life. Obviously if you've also got something like the cluster missile, you can fire that into the mix, and before you know it, you know, you can get someone down relatively quickly. It's even better if, if obviously they are in a corner. Um, imagine you're playing on Angel City, you get them pinned in like behind a building, and you've got the electric smoke, they're stuck in the corner, you're shooting them. If they want to run away, then they obviously run towards you, and if they don't run away, they're stuck in the electric smoke. So it's a no-win situation. Additionally, you obviously you want to melee wherever possible, and I actually have the big punch um, option as my loadout as well, so I do a lot more damage from my melee attacks. So yeah, that is just a few sort of tips for taking down Titans. Obviously, I'm sure you'll have your own kind of technique or different things you want to do, and obviously you want to stay mobile at all times if you're a pilot. You know, plenty of wall running, plenty of wall hanging, all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, those few things should at least give you some good points to get started. Satchel charges on the brain, LMG for rodeoing, electric smoke if you're in a Titan, and aim for those red spots. 
Anyway, that is about it for this video. So hopefully you found it helpful. As always, if you did, then don't forget to hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, show your support does really help me out. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to stay tuned to the channel every single day this week for a new Titanfall video. Also, don't forget to stay tuned to the Arrow Gaming Facebook and Twitter pages for all your updates throughout the week. And add me on Xbox One. My gamer tag is Arix. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. All right, we got what we came for. Awesome work, team. Mission accomplished.